the Canadian Car Collector here, and welcome back to day 221 of a daily deck review. And the deck that we're taking a look at today is the Bicycle SYZYGY playing cards. So, with no further ado, let's take a look and see what we get. Here we have the, the Bicycle SYZYGY. I'm not sure if that's a word or if it's just a bunch of letters down there. But here you have it in the matte red finish tuck box with some gold foiling on the tuck box. It says bicycle and you got the big spade there, and that intricate design. There's always one different design there. And then it has those letters down there. I'm not sure if that's a, a word or an, I'm not sure what that is. Anyway, that's the name of the deck. On the side, you got more gold foiling and it says that playing cards again, and then the same thing over there. On the other side, it says Made in the USA, established in 1867. On the bottom, you got some corporate information saying that they're manufactured by the United States Playing Card Company, and uh, some other stuff. On the back, got a sneak peek of that back design. And more gold foiling, and, it, and the foiling is slightly textured, so. And slightly feel the texture of the gold foiling. And for the seal, you got a, you got a red and gold stamp style seal, so a gold border with some gold like accent font, and then the red kind of in the middle there. And it says day and night and equator. It's kind of hard to see because it's so shiny of a seal, it's more of like a chrome kind of like metallic seal. And then on the top. It doesn't really say anything because it might be covered up by that seal. And on the inner tuck flap, it says produced and distributed by Elite Playing Cards. On the inner tuck flap, you got two little, like a sun and a moon kind of logo there. If we take the cards out of the box, on the inside tuck box, it's just plain, plain red. So it's just the same red color as the outside of the tuck box. Nothing too crazy going on inside there. Now that we took a look at the talk box, time to take a look at the cards. And first we'll start with that back design. Here we have a red and gold colorway back design. And there's a mirrored back design with the standard white border going around. And for the main design of the back design, we kind of got that like sun and moon kind of design there, right in the middle, in that circle kind of design. And it says something there. Oh, it's a day and a night. Well, I guess it's not a mirrored back design. I thought it was because I thought those words were mirrored, but they're not. So it is a one way back design. But it kind of looks like a mirrored back design, but it is a one way back design just because those words are facing only one way. So if you were to flip them over, these words would be upside down and these ones would be right side up. So, one way back design. And then you got a bunch of other intricate kind of like gold lines going all around the, the back there. And then for the cards you get with the deck, and we start with the first joker in that kind of goldish kind of colorway. And it's that sun and moon kind of design once again with another kind of little circle pattern going around it. And it says joker joker there in the corners. And you get a second identical one just in a red colorway. A gold and a red joker. And you get that custom ace of spades there. And it's that intricate kind of design. I, I won't be able to explain too much of this deck because I'm not sure really what the designs are. But we'll just flip through and you can kind of just see, see them as I go through it. And you can tell. And the spades are in a, a gold kind of colorway. Then you got the custom spade pips there in the spade pips. And then you got the custom corner pips too. Like the pips in the corners and the numbers. So custom fonts, and they all have this kind of like line kind of thing going down underneath of them. So you got those fully custom, and this is a fully, the whole deck is fully custom as well. And then you got the custom spades. They're in that kind of, I can't even explain, I can't even explain what kind of design it is. If you know, just comment down below and let me know, but I'm not kind of entirely sure what the theme of the deck is. Usually I have some idea of a theme, but this one I don't know 
really what the theme is. Then you got the fully custom court cards, which look really cool. I really like these court cards. Kind of stand out and pop out. And they're in that gold colorway once again. Well, pretty much a white and gold colorway. And then you get to the diamonds here. And you got a fully custom ace of diamonds. And some more uh, custom ace of diamonds. There's not really too much to explain about these because it's just a bunch of like, detailed lines and stuff. Not much. There's not much to explain. Then you got the custom diamond pips there. Same thing with that, like, like the spades were, like the custom font there in the corners. And then you got those four custom diamonds. And then you got the four custom court cards, just in a red colorway this time. And they're really nice and detailed court cards there. And then we got the clubs. The court cards, fully custom once again, just in that gold colorway. And you got the custom club design. Almost kind of like more of a 3D kind of design almost. Like a 2D, 3D kind of like animated kind of like style there. And the clubs are in that gold colorway. And you got the custom ace of clubs. You can see the detail there. And we get to the hearts, Jack, Queen, and King of hearts. And the fully custom court cards once again. And then you got the custom heart design there. Custom heart pips. Six. And then the custom ace of hearts. And then for the last two cards in the deck, you got a double backer of the back design. And then you got a little kind of add card where it says Executive producer Roy Boyvin the second. This is Roy Boyvin dot com. I probably pronounced the last name wrong, but anyways, now that we've seen the cards, I'm gonna test the handling. And first we'll start with the springs. These are pretty much fresh out of the box. The box was already open before this, but they, they haven't really been touched. So we'll start with the springs, and they're definitely, they definitely feel springy, and they don't feel like too stiff either, they got a nice flex to it, they got a nice clickiness to it too, because like they're going there. But the springs feel nice and smooth. No issues there. Now on to the fans. Well, as you can see, they spread pretty evenly. You, can see, you can't really see the numbers just because of the way that the numbers are like set on the cards look more into the deck with more white showing but they still spread evenly pretty evenly there you can see some of the numbers and i found no stickiness or clumpiness to the cards now on to the pharaoh nice super smooth pharaoh there then interlock and weave flawlessly. Now time for a giant fan of the back design. Now for that reverse pharaoh. It wasn't the smoothest pharaoh, like, because I did have to like slightly shuffle them together. But it was still pretty satisfying, and they interlock the wave decently there. Not flawless or anything, because they're kind of like doubled up there. But now time for a giant fan of the faces. Now 
Now for the Ripple Shuffle or Bridge Shuffle. Okay, when I actually get one to work, they might actually work. There we go. Now when you actually get one to work, they feel pretty smooth. All the wiffle shuffles and bridge shuffles feel pretty smooth when you get them to actually work. Now time for a few packet cuts. Definitely not the smoothest packet cuts I've done with cards. They're not terrible. And they are a little bit slippery. As you can see when I did that, the worm that they started sliding out of my hands. A little bit slippery. And the cards felt slightly off. But not nothing too terrible. And now on to the one-handed cut, or surely a cut. Well, I was about to say the one-handed cut feels pretty smooth until I just almost dropped all the cards. Now for the dribble. Well, the dribble feels nice and smooth. And nice and satisfying. Now for the spread fan. And lastly, spread the cards on the table. Well, I gotta say, it's pretty, inter definitely an interesting deck, I gotta say. And a fully custom one at that. I got that back design, which looks interesting. Definitely not my like favorite kind of colorway for a back design. With the red and like that kind of like, darker kind of goldish kind of coloring. Definitely not my favorite. I'm not saying it looks terrible, but just no, uh, not my kind of style there. Then you got the full custom faces there. And you got those full custom like the pips. All the suits are fully custom. My favorite part of the deck. I like the, the court cards look really nice. I really like those. Four cards, especially the red ones there. The diamonds and the hearts. Four cards look like the best. And then you got the full custom ace aces there. It was always nice to see. And then the handling you just see. This wasn't terrible. It's definitely not like the, the best handling I've had. Just because it's like a new newer deck still. And it definitely has to be broken in for it to handle to its fullest. So, yeah, yeah. Is that the break in the handling? Or the feel nice? That's still not a terrible, because it is a bicycle deck, so it still handles pretty nice. So overall, not a terrible deck, but still interesting. Because of that name on the box, I'm not even sure what the name is, but 
I hope you enjoyed. And this has been a day 221 of a daily deck review. And this has been the bicycle SYZYGY playing cards from Elite Playing Cards. And I'm the Canadian Card Collector signing out. That's the video. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.